Peace, peace, my peaceful people. Hope y'all can see what I'm talking about. Aries. Yeah, I guess I need new markers. <laughs> Aries, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? Peace and love. Alright. So, let's see what God is talking to you about this cycle. Alright. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. These things definitely help me out. You know what I'm saying? Help get the messages out to folks. You know? Share the videos. You know what Aries and you think this may resonate, right? To my cross watches out there and my not cross watches. <laughs> yeah, share the video, man. You know what I'm saying? Get it out there. Alright? So let's talk to the guy, right? Here we go. O ser to my art. O ser to my art. For you, Aries. And we are in your tropical cycle, at least. I'm not sure if we're in the sidereal cycle of Aries, but it's possible. Hey, Heru Hitsep, what's going on? Hello. We got O ser to my art, Head Heru Hitsep, right? And today is the new moon of the Head Heru cycle. Interesting. Okay. You said to my eye. Head, head, woo, head, head. All right. That's good stuff, man. That's, you know, that's like alignment. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are in alignment with what the heavens is doing right now. It's another good thing. It's a very good thing. We like alignment. You know what I mean? Nothing like that. Nothing like being Osir, right? During the time when, you know, in a cycle where, you know, well, I should say Osir and Heheru, right? Meaning, <clears throat> you know, this is like you cleaning up stuff, hopefully, right? This could have something to do with your ability to unify, right? Because sometimes we see the two and we think, oh, the benevolent side. And sometimes it ain't that. So, you know, watch out for that, right? It could be saying that this is an Osir situation where you need to unify. You need to be in unity or unison, right? Unify your individual yoga, right? Yoking, right? Bringing things together, right? Within, right? Head Haru, right? Head Haru is the Head Haru cycle, right? Head Haru is what harmony. So, you know, this is like bringing things into harmony within your being. Pardon me. Hopefully that was the truth belt and not just a bunch of air in my belly. Um, yeah, man. So, yeah, this is about bringing things into harmony. So, you know, this suggests that you are, you know, addressing matters of self, right? Matters of, you know, what you're identifying with, you know? Are you identifying with the higher part of your being? You know what I mean? Or are you identifying with the lower Right? Had her ruse influences around. So this is going to make the air that you breathe sensual. You know, this is going to make, you know, you have inclinations toward your lower vibration. Right? Your lower, your sensual nature, your, you know what I'm saying, your pleasure-seeking tendencies. Stuff like that, right? But with Osir on the table, you have a very strong Osir to my eye. On the table, right? You have, let me complete my sentence. You have a very strong chance of overcoming the negativities here. Now, that's the thing again, right? See, some of y'all just see Osir too, and y'all say, oh, I'm good. You know what I mean? Osir, yeah, you know, I'm good with it. No, this happens on purpose, <clears throat> once again. <clears throat> just because you see two, you know, don't think that it's done. It's not done. It's not done until you go ahead and apply the effort of Osir in that. This is your challenge saying that if you get on this Osir meditation right about now, if you regiment yourself in the Osir energy right about now, then you can achieve a harmony, you know, throughout this Hadaru cycle. You might even do something relationship-wise, you know what I mean? You might get a relationship if you can tend to the higher portion of yourself. If you can become purposeful about, you know, changing 
you know, or affecting or, you know, just walking in your higher self right about now, then, you know, you might get something good relationship-wise, you know what I mean? Relationship's not the only thing. This is like minor good fortune, right? Heheru. Heheru is the, you know, the two fortunate, great fortune aspects, you know, of, uh, you know, the Neter are Ma'at and Heheru. Ma'at is the major fortune. Heheru is the minor fortune. So, you know, you can get a minor fortune right about now, you know what I'm saying? Manifesting in, you know, many different ways, right? Definitely, though, if you attend to the highest aspect of yourself right now, you are in alignment with what is here for you, you know? This is definitely good, you know what I mean? But I urge you to do the Osir meditations, you know, daily, you know what I'm saying? Get your Osir meditations on, y'all. Yeah, let's talk to the Ichi. Open. Open stress. Open stress. Open. Open. Open stress. Open stress. Coon mm -hmm. on the bottom with second and third line stress. Open. 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 Whoa, that's a great situation, yo. Open, open, open. Alright, this is the two into the 46. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff, man. Alright. Two. Alright, hexagram number two. Is that this one? Yeah. Hexagram two with lines. Two and three stress changing into the 46. That's good stuff. All right, that's good stuff, man. Okay, so two is receptivity. You know what I'm saying? You're Aries, right? You are notorious for not being receptive, Aries. <laughs> if there's any. If there's, if we say, you know, to any, you know, astrolog astrologer, right? I was going to say astrological scholar. If you go to any astrologer and you say, what's the most unreceptive sign in the zodiac? They're going to say Aries, right? And you know, when you look in the mirror, that's you, right? You don't like to listen. <laughs> you don't like to listen, you know what I'm saying? But this is saying to you to listen. I don't know. Who are you supposed to listen to? I don't know. You know, I mean, you have to decide who you are, who this is talking about, right? Who, where it is that you are supposed to listen, right? Where it is that you're supposed to be open and be receptive, right? But there's somewhere, somewhere in your life, somewhere in your reality right now, you have a situation where you need to be receptive rather than active, Right? Because that's your thing. Your thing is motivational. Go, let's do it. Ah, look at that. Y'all hear that engine? I'm telling you, man, I'm in tune right now. You know what I mean? That's you, though. That's your energy. Your energy is of the engine. What does the engine do? It goes. <clears throat> let's go. You know? But this is saying, no, pause. You know what I mean? It's just talking about this. Life makes you one way and then tells you to be another way that's how you know it's a school we come here to change we come here to learn you know we come here to grow so there is no growth if we go through life stuck in the way that we came you know what i'm saying if we are still of the same inclinations and mentalities that we were back in the day then we're not growing you know what i'm saying Life is about change, right? So this is saying, Osair, man, put some Osair on your name. <laughs> That's what it's saying. You know what I mean? Put some Osair on my name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Change a thing or two, right, about you. Because it's Heteru. Heteru, at Aries in Heteru cycle. Now, come on, y'all. <laughs> y'all know what that's about. You know, with a Heteru had tap on the table? Hmm. This is saying, you know, you got things on the table right now, right? All right? This is saying Heteru energy is all on the table. Now, in Aries, you know, just imagine, you know what I mean, uh, you know, young, vibrant, you know, college student, you know, you know, male walks into 
you know, a sorority house full of receptive women who, who delight at his presence. You know what I'm saying? He was like, whoa, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's get it in. Let's get it on. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is you that's like, you know, Aries and Hetero is sex, all right? That's what it is. It's, pardon me, you don't know I mean the whatever the YouTube stuff. That's what it is, though. Okay, that's the combination of let's get it on, all right? You got Osir, though, all right? So what that mean? Size limit, new, okay, all right, it's telling me funny stuff is happening. Um, yeah, but uh, that's what's happening right now, man. Um, you guys, you know, you're going to be tempted by the sexual things that's going on in the air right now, right? But it's saying... You know, you have to start, right? We have to start the cycle. So you have a strong ability right now, if you go ahead and do it, to tend to neutralizing, right? To harmonizing that and dealing with this energy in a different way, right? Receptivity, right? Rather than pushing forward, this is about, you know, easing back, right? Letting life happen right now. Being at peace with what happens, you know? You know, of course, set your intentions, etc. But you being at peace, you know, you are stilling out. You're going against your normal nature of let's go do it, right? Yeah. Um, second line is about being receptive, right? The third line is about, you know, you know, not being, uh, you know, you're like you're falling back rather than you're going forward. It's like that third line is talking about when you... You know, uh, basically, um, you're letting the honor go to somebody else, right? You know, you could be the one who did it, but you're not going to boast. You know, you just you know, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I did it. I did it from the background, though. You acknowledge what you did. In other words, you being low-key. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be out there, you know. You know, y'all y'all like to, you know, make achievements and let everybody know that this is what I did. No. Calm. You know what I mean? Because it's going to be seen, right? The 46 is on the table. 46 is a great hexagram for achievement, right? Whether it's personal, spiritual, or whether it's in the world. This is about achievement. This is about something that you've been working on in an inner way comes up above the surface now, right? It's pushing upward, right? Like the grass that is starts growing. Like right now, if you go, you know, to the park, you'll see a lot of brown dirt, right? But it's that time. The water is going to come on it, right? The April showers and all of that, right? And in a minute, like, what you can't see is underneath it. You see the blades are starting to develop. Pretty soon they're going to push through, and it's going to be lush fields of grass, right? So this is what's going on with you, you know? There's something that's trying to push through to the degree that you can re re retain and remain receptive, right? <clears throat> retain your receptivity, your openness, right? Your you know, non-dictatorial part of your nature, right? Then this is going to push through for you. And, you know, you're going to be able to achieve something, you know. Again, Osir, right? You need to be tending. This is a, you know, I'm saying, you know, look, y'all. Y'all got a chance to not mess something up here, right? Osir is about being able to correct some stuff within you, Right? If you focus on this Osir and you go ahead and do those meditations and you see yourself wearing the white crown of Osir through your conditionings, right? Then you right now have a chance. This is the, full, the new moon, right? You do this, especially for the next two weeks, but really for the next three weeks heavy, right? Then you got a great chance to change something in your life. You know, something that perhaps has had you stuck. You know what I mean? Talking about, I know how, you know, you know, again, Aries and Hetero, man, they go together like two cheeks. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the tarot about the situation. What does the tarot have to talk about? Death. Mm, look at that. Nine of Cups, man. Come on, man. I'm talking about, right? Nine of Cups, that's the head of root energy. Death is about correcting it. Mm. Yeah, man. Changing, transition, making a transition 
from what you used to be into to what you're going to be into, what you are now, what your intentions are. You know what I mean? It's hard to come out of conditionings, man. You got to be on purpose about coming out of conditionings. All right. What are you doing? All right. We got the Page of Wands. Yeah, that's the wily nature. He is in reverse. That Page of Wands, right? He's the young bull. It's the young bull within you. That fiery, wily. Look at him. Look at, the, look at him. His, look at his eye. <laughs> That's a wild little B-ass dirt, all right? <laughs> Get back here, boy. You know what I mean? Sit your ass down, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's him, right? He wild, you know what I mean? You got to tame this little guy, right? The world. The world is in reverse, okay? The world is in the re, all right? So what's going on? Something in the world, you know... You know, this is, you know, this could be something in your, all right, we got the four pentacles underneath that, right? So, this is uh, putting a stop to certain things regarding your, uh, like, your selfishness, right? The world, in reverse, is suggesting that in an external way, you won't be received well. Right, if you don't clean something up, right? The the opinion, right? There's an it's like your the way people are looking at you, right? You're needing to clean something up. This wily nature, right? This immaturity, the way that you're dealing with your conditionings, right? Aries have a tendency to be comfortable with expressing their Aries right you know what I mean you know Aries can be offensive you know they can be arrogant and you know like people and, and lots of times people give Aries the leeway because you know sometimes like that fiery kind of thing is kind of hard to resist right so you let Aries do their thing right well you know yeah this is this is a time where people are going to be seeing past that stuff if you maintain this guy within you you maintain this guy's influence, you know, yeah, your world's going to go upside down on some level. You know, reputation loss we're talking about. You know, we're talking about loss of worldly things, right? And it's about holding on. Right? But you got a chance to reverse this holding on, right? This four of pentacles, you know. <clears throat> you got a chance to reverse this level of conduct within right now. But it's about changing something within, right? I always tell y'all, you know, no matter what happens on these tarot cards, right? If we are focusing on this uh teru within, right? The tree of life within. That's what these Maduna Tarot cards are. You know, this is the tree of life within, right? If you're focusing on this stuff, right? Then we can correct what's going on over here, okay? So, this is saying to you that you have to be purposeful about dealing with your sensualism. Right? And if you are receptive to that, then you can make a lot of progress. Right? On the table, though, are temptations, the low vibrational way of being and functioning, you know, through holding on to conditionings, is on the table. You know, this stuff is on the table. So, you know, y'all got a choice. It's the new moon, folks, man. You know what I mean? You know, it's also the eclipse day. Right? So... Y'all need to cultivate the right stuff during that stuff and through that stuff, right? All right. So, you know, that's it. We're going to say peace and love, and we're going to do it again next time.